you guys, it is 4.50 in the morning. Finally, going to El Paso, Texas to film my buddy Mike Coy's show on Netflix. And uh, I think it's gonna be awesome. I'm really wiped out because it was so hot in St. Louis, but it was an amazing crowd and the people were great. Right now, I gotta jet off, pack the rest of my stuff up and head to El Paso, Texas. All right, I'll check back with you later. I don't know how much of the set they're gonna let me film, but it's gonna be cool. All right. All right, so over here, yes. we got Scooter. Hello. We got Mike Coy. Mike Coy! And wonder what Mike. we are doing. What we are doing is a secret project. I'm gonna have to wait to reveal to you but I flew into El Paso, Texas here just to do it. God, I wish I could show it to you. I'm looking at it, but I can't tell you. I'm not allowed to, I'm on a gag order. Ooh. They'll do this and yank me off the camera so I can't do it. I'm gonna show you who won't let me do it. <laughs> Guilty party right there. The boss. Well, let me just tell you, it's been fun now, Mike. We met how? Well, you know, I mean, we met at a bar. Actually. All good stories start with that. <laughs> I like to say we ended up fighting and you ended up pretty much kicking my ass. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh yeah, I can take this guy. <laughs> there wasn't even a chance. Everything's bigger no, in Texas, including Mike's ego. Yeah, I, <laughs> dude, I got my ass handed to me Mike. over and over and over. Dude, no, I don't think it was that awesome. bad. It you was that really bad. Good. You did good. Been there, done that. It yeah, was that yeah, bad. No, I remember. Really? I remember. Yeah. But he could he could beat up both of us. Do you train? I, I know Mexican judo. Oh. Have you heard of that? I have. You don't know if I have a knife. You don't know if I have a gun. This dude will stick a so boot. Yes. And <laughs> out in the West Texas town of El Paso. I, I fell, fell in love, love with a Mexican, Mexican girl. He's a fellow jujitsu jiu guy, right jiu here. Jujitsu, yeah. yeah. So when Devil City Angels was playing the Gas Monkey Garage, Mike was the painter for that show at the time, and uh, we just hit it off because we're both jujitsu guys. And he invited me over to his school to roll the next day. It turns out it was Carlos Machado, uh, which I got my purple belt under John Jock Machado, so I knew who Carlos was, and I had never met Carlos. Just. You know, I had ruled with every brother except him. Yeah. And uh, so then I checked that off my, my bucket list. Yeah, man, we need to go and have a beer. So we went to a really, really cool uh, cantina. It was the kind of cantina you could walk outside in the parking lot and look and see Mexico. <laughs> Pretty crazy. So uh, there was Mike Coy, who was with Gas Monkey Garage, Fast and Loud. He has his own show. And I was just uh, on a gag order that I couldn't talk about a whole lot. Now I guess I would, you know, kill the climax to the story. So anyway, I shot it. I don't know when it's going to air but I will let you know. All right, everybody, we're at Lou's right now. Culture shop in Chicago now, completely different from El Paso. So we're here with uh, Will. Frankie the Cop. Greg over here. Frankie the Cop. So we're going to have uh, Kathy the Great is showing up, my old friend Kathy. And we're gonna have some deep dish Chicago pizza because I want some deep dish Chicago pizza and I've been waiting for this day. And I'm gonna just overdo my amount of calories and oh well, you know. What do you think guys, there's too many calories. Greg needs a towel. <laughs> All right, hit me. Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> we are about to get in the van and go do meet and greet. We have no dressing rooms today, let alone no showers. So we're hopping out of our hotel room. It's not a beautiful hotel. Anyway, I have a beautiful view from here. <clears throat> let me show you. We have that river view. You don't want to jump from here. But like they say, it's not the jump, it's the landing. All right, we gotta land in that van to get over there to the gig. So we just got back into the hotel from playing Wrigley Field. It was pretty epic. I gotta tell you, it was awesome playing for the people in Chicago at Wrigley Field. It was amazing. Okay, today 
We are in Hershey, Pennsylvania, very close to where I grew up in Harrisburg, Mechanicsburg area. Here is my friend Deuce, who's What's gonna going go riding. On, How you doing, man? I'm good, buddy. Good to see you. We're gonna ride hit some of the old digs around here, you know? That's right. See some shit? It'll be and awesome. He's a, he's a Beamer guy now, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. It's a good bike. It does it all, it does yeah, everything. It does, it's a Swiss uh, army knife. I know? still got two Triumphs. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. There you go. All right, we'll check back with you later. We're gonna run around. We're gonna go to my old house. Now, I doubt I can get in, but you never know. We'll go up and knock. Knock on the door. Say, hey. I used to live here. Yeah, please. <laughs> all right, See cool. Y See y'all in a while. Okay, so this is a house I grew up in. 22 years, right here. It's the driveway I rolled down. The sidewalk I learned to ride my bike on. Tree my dad planted. My bedroom window right there. Those were over there, the girths over here, the Kipses right there, Johnson, Chip Johnson, I could go on. I don't think any of them are in this neighborhood anymore and all the trees have grown so high now. It's so crazy. We're going to go up and knock on the door and see if they'll actually answer. She's kind of being nice, but not really letting us come in. I don't know. It's a little weird, like she keeps calling her husband. <laughs> so we knocked on the door, and the lady came out, and she's looking around, and she picks up her phone right away, and starts calling her husband. We're like, no, 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 no. I'm Ricky. I used to live here. Uh, I grew up in this house. And she's like, you're not Ricky the drummer for Poison. And I'm like, yes, I am. So she clearly knew who did live in the house, but she wasn't buying it right away. And I, I get that. I was helmet hair and not looking like I do on an album kind of thing. We talked for a while, and finally she got comfortable. And after explaining a lot of things, she realized it really was me after I told her who all the neighbors were. Then she finally invited us in to look at the basement, but she didn't want me to videotape anything because she felt like it was a mess and she didn't have time to get it organized and it was her stuff and she just didn't want it on a vlog. So I respect that. But it turns out that her and her husband did come to the show. They enjoyed the show, they had a great time and we hung out for a little bit afterward. I will come back there another time. So there will be another time where I will be able to come back and videotape a little bit, so it worked out for the best. So we just had a little lunch, and we're gonna go maybe hit a little trail action.
try to do a little off-road and see how it goes. Better put my gloves on. Not really outfitted for off-road, but neither are you. It's all right. It's not, it's not very long. All right, cool. <laughs> to do any long distance on this, yeah. I would need to get these bars up a little bit. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, no, that was cool. Yeah, it felt good. Good morning. So I am getting ready to go on a dealer ride. That means a ride with um, one of the Triumph dealerships. And he's uh, gracious enough to be pulling his exhaust off of his personal bike, that's the manager, to put on this bike. This is just the stock pipe right here. And we're gonna replace it. This is, there's a catalytic converter in here. We're gonna bypass it, I believe. And, uh, put a really nice aftermarket exhaust on here. Greg is going to join us today on the ride. I, I shall. Thank you very much for the invite. The dealer is cool enough to give us a bike for him to ride also. So the ride is out of Triumph Cleveland. Main dude who's just hooking me up. His name is Ray. And uh, I mean, he's just really freaking cool. So I'm going to eat a little tiny something. Then I'm going to get rolling. Let's go. All right, guys, yes. so here we are. We're uh, at the dealership. This is Ray. This is the, oh, you're the proprietor, right? I'm just a guy. Yeah, you know, look, he's a black belt, too, so just know that. Anyway, he's doing me a solid on so many levels. Uh, really a good good dude right here. I can already tell. We're going to be bugs. So, and he's let me ride a freaking amazing bike. Can you come see it? Yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's go look. <laughs> I had a clear coat in hey, years Luke. ago. Hey, Luke. How are you, bro? All right, so this is what I'm going to ride today. Just for fun. There's a bobber that he's tricked out a little bit. What all did you do to this? You know, it's got some German pieces, parts. Um, all the lights are all incorporated in the fender and the strut now. VC pipes. This is an old Coventry sticker that we kind of jacked and took Coventry off and put Cleveland in. I mean, it came that way. <laughs> so we can seal that. Custom color paint. These are dope. These mirrors have no glass in it. It's just polished steel on the other side. Bars, pieces, just, I mean, we made it cool. You what know? exhaust is this? That's BC. It's just straight turnout exhaust that they, uh, that they came up with. We like it. It's, well, you'll see when you ride it. It sounds great. Too cool, dude. I love it. There's my buddy. There's my buddy right there. <laughs> Hi, Tattoo Lucky right here. Ed Smith. This is Ray. Nice to meet you, Ray. It's my son's birthday today, Jude. And Ray just gave him one of his Valentino Rossi helmets. It's not this one. He already wrapped it up. But he already wrapped it up for Jude. And Jude got the pick. It's pretty... I'm pretty moved by it, honestly. It's really, really cool. <laughs> There's a person in there. Hey, everybody. Say hi to my, my YouTube channel. <laughs> anyway, I was blown away about that, so... Um, I will get back to you guys later. We're gonna ride in a minute. All right, my scrambler is done as far as the exhaust goes. Oh, looks bitchin'. Yeah. 
Popovic exhaust. Cat delete. I'm good to go. The whole handling behind putting a bigger front tire on it though. Freaking awesome. We'll slow down. I'm gonna be watching, I'm gonna be looking for him. He's gonna get in the shot for good. And we're just gonna walk. We're gonna be wheels up in like three minutes. Fuck, fuck. Guys, thanks so much for coming out. Oh, sorry, fuck. Yeah, we're gonna run. What the fuck? I got a guy. No, so, so, uh, so, yeah, thanks for doing this. Like, this is going to be a lot of fun. I got my buddy Ed over here, and uh, it's, it's going to be, be great. Short but sweet, but let's make it happen. And we'll hang it's out a beautiful as long as we can. So. Okay. If you guys need anything, if you got to or do whatever, two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. All right. All right, we had a really, really nice ride, so we're gonna do a big group photo. And right now we're gonna do a photo with Ray here. Stop. But what we're gonna try to do is work a deal for that really, really <laughs> badass bobber. I don't know if he wants to sell it to me, but no, it's your I'm, bike. Gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ride him on it. It's yeah? your bike, it's your bike, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I love this bike. How badass is that? And I love that it says Triumph Cleveland. All right, we're gonna go do a photo. These are all the guys that rode today. Everything is in like hyper speed today. Like hurry, 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 hurry. Cause it is show day, so. And when it's show day, then you gotta be in hyper speed. Huh? All right, we're doing a photo. All right, here's all the peeps I rode with. We already met Eddie. Well, we met everybody kind of a little bit, but... What we're about to do is an install of some rubber pads. Not a huge deal, but you gotta get it lined up. And what is the purpose? So you can squeeze your knees against that tank and you won't screw it up. That looks good. Though. This pipe is slamming. It's so slippy back here. If you don't like twist your legs around shit, you fall off. Show Cleveland. Dog search. <laughs> All right, now we're inside the building. dressing room. There may be somebody naked. I don't know. 
<laughs> Anybody naked? No. Not yet. All right. Not yet. But <laughs> get that way. I can get. I can get that way right away. All right. That's oh Robert. Boy. Robert right. Dahl. Robert Dahl here. That's Bobby Dahl. Called BMF. Bobby, Bobby fucking doll. Bobby motherfucking doll. Oh. For anyone who doesn't quite understand it. BMF. It's my wardrobe case. It's what my clothes are. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell. Like this video. And the reason you hit the bell is when I upload new videos, you're notified. That's why. So if you like these vlogs, let me know in the comments section. Tell me what more you'd like to see. You have to understand something that I can't just encroach on the rest of the band's privacy and just stick a camera in their face. Bobby motherfucking dog. I'm not gonna just crash somebody's bunk or something else. Let me know what else you'd like to see and I'll be happy to try to make it happen. Take care of each other. And keep rock alive, yeah!